Hello everyone. Well, here I am. I've been talking to videotaping myself making some of my homemade recipes and I finally caved in. So I'm gonna try something kind of weird, uh, something new that you may not wanna try, but trust me, tr try it. Right now we're in uh, confinement. You may have some non-perishable seeds or beans or lentils at home and you might wanna try this. It's something uh, quite tasty, crunchy, and refreshing for our um, upcoming warmer weather. So what you're going to need to start is you're gonna need a small amount of lentils and put them in a little container and you're just going to put water on them. Fill it all the way up and since you're gonna try it for the first time you might not want to do too much. Don't do more than a quarter of a cup, okay? And then you're gonna put a lid on it, shake them, rinse them off, Literally leave them overnight. Once the water is all gone, and you just leave them upside down in your sink. Until the next day. The next day, they start sprouting, and then you rinse them off, you rinse them off, you rinse them off once a day for the next two or three days. And after a couple of days, this is what you have, okay? My hands are clean, I just washed them. So look at this. They're lentils that have sprouted. They're super crunchy and fresh. If you like jicama, you will like them. If you like iceberg lettuce, you will like them as well. You can't even taste the little lentils. Okay, so to make this little salad, what you need is a small amount of any kind of a green cooked vegetable that you might have already in a can, like nopales or green beans. In this case, I have some leftover nopalitos, which is a cactus leaf that is super healthy for your stomach and it's very tasty and it's just good to have in a pantry. You also will need some grape tomatoes cut up into your best size. You will need some panela cheese, which is just a non, very strong, not very flavorful cheese, kind of like a mozzarella, but fresh mozzarella. Don't do anything super fresh. I mean, super strong, sorry, because it'll overpower the crisp and the light flavors of the lentil sprouts. You can cut those in small little pieces as well. You will need some fresh avocado and you will need some lemon juice. We have tons from our tree, so we're using that today. Once you have that and you are ready to uh, try this new recipe, it's super easy. All you're going to do is pour your ingredients into a nice bowl. So there goes all my nopalitos. I'm using probably like a half a cup. Then I'm using my avocado in small cubes. Then I'm chopping in, dropping in, sorry, my panela cheese into the bowl and the tomatoes. If you don't wanna cut them up, you can throw them in whole. It's just as fine. It tastes just as delicious. You're also going to need a little uh, drizzle of olive oil. If you don't have any, you can skip that. It doesn't really matter. You will need a little oregano leaves. I use Mexican oregano. I'm a little biased. I think it tastes better than Italian oregano. And in my house, we used to crush it in our hands to release those oils and that extra flavor and throw them into your salad. You're also going to need a little sea salt, okay? To your liking, to taste, just a little bit, okay? And then you're just going to add your lentil sprouts. And I better eat these quick because they're growing fast. Add them to your salad. And then you're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice. My dad used to, oh, get rid of the pits. My dad used to always stick a fork in it and squeeze it. If you don't like, I have a lemon juice squeezer. I like it very saucy. And then you're gonna mix it all together. Can you see how pretty it looks? Look at all the colors. 
So now you're gonna mix all the salad in there. Make sure that the avocado starts blending in with your flavors. It makes it even a little bit creamier than it already is. And it balances out with the crunchiness of the tomatoes and the crunchiness of the lentil sprouts. It's actually really good, okay? So my sister gave me this idea of how to sprout lentils. It's usually not my thing. I don't really do those types of foods, but I figured we're at home, I have some, why not try it, okay? So then my friend Edie's in Puerto Vallarta, she also said that she does these things and that they're super nutritious. So I went ahead and I tried it and I'm actually very surprised of how yummy they are, okay? After you've uh, mixed it around really well, go ahead and try it. Mmm, oh wow. I can really taste the olive oil, the crunchiness of the lentils is delicious. The panela cheese just adds some protein to it. It doesn't really add that much flavor. It just makes it all a really nice, well-balanced salad for this time of year and in this type of a circumstance that we're in. Hope you will enjoy it. Provechito.